Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So here there is an awesome CVE which is a RCE vulnerability which is identified into Apache software. So it is identified into Apache Unomi software which is basically a pre-auth RCE vulnerability. Now this vulnerability has been assigned a CVSS score of 10 which is critical. Now this is because of the complete compromise of Unomi's services and confidentiality, integrity and availability in addition to allowing the access to underlying operating system, which means basically any unauthenticated attacker can execute commands onto this Apache software and execute malicious commands. Now this basically compromises the CIA triad and due to which the CVSS score has been assigned as 10.0 which is critical. Alright, so let's quickly see what is this vulnerability. So this vulnerability lies in sending a specially crafted post request to the endpoint which is context.json and you can see over here this is the body which has been sent and into the body you can see there is a runtime dot get runtime dot execute here any command that you send will be executed onto the target web server so here we are basically going to create an empty file using the command touch into the directory which is temp and the file name is poc all right vulnerability number two the same pre-auth RCE vulnerability is being assigned but through a different way. And here you can see the researcher is able to execute the same command as you can see over here which is touch slash temp slash poc wherein the payload may look like scary but nothing fancy is happening over here with again the same thing is being run which is runtime dot get runtime r dot execute the command which is touch to create a blank file into the temp directory. Alright, so I hope you guys understood this. Now, let us try to see some more public POCs that started coming up into the wild. So first, see over here. So again, a CVE 2021-3942 payload. Here you can see the researcher is able to craft his own payload wherein he is trying to open a calculator. And what happens if I execute this command? You can see a calculator successfully gets popped up. All right. So this means the attacker is able to successfully execute commands onto the underlying target operating system. Let's have a look at the POC which has been released by the original finder or original author. So the first POC, as you can see, HTTP request. So this is the HTTP request which has been sent. So let's copy this and let's send the same HTTP request to a target, which I have identified. So let's go over here. All right. So I'm going to replace the content over here and you can see this is the content over here. So let me just remove this part and let me hit send. And you can see I'm successfully able to get a 200. Okay. And this is the output wherein you can see the command that I have executed is genome calculator, which means the calculator application must have opened onto the target server. And you can see the couple of parameters are available into the response body, which is profile ID, session ID, profile properties, session properties, etc. This confirms the target is vulnerable. If the target gives an error and does not give this output into the response, which means it is not vulnerable. But here in this case, this target is successfully exploitable and vulnerable. Moving ahead. As you can see over here, this is another POC which has been uploaded. And here you can see the same exact payload, but the command which has been executed is who am I? So let's try this as well. So let's copy it from here. Go to our burp and paste it over here. Let's hit send. Okay, bad request. My bad. And hit send. And you can see 
And we are able to get the same response over here and the executed command is who am I? All right, so here we can confirm that we are getting a right response based on this and uh, this confirms that the target is vulnerable. Now, there are many templates that has been released into the wild for identification of the vulnerability as well as many WAF rules that has been also released to block many WAF rules. So you can see one of the detection rules if any of the target is if anyone is trying to identify the vulnerability onto your target server, you are going to get alerted by this detection rules. Also, if you see the nuclei, then you can see over here the matchers is the matcher condition is and matcher type is status 200. OK, words are these words and they are basically doing a rejects of profile, session, ID, properties and segments. Let's see this profile sessions, ID, properties and segments, as you can see, ID, properties and segments. So this is basically it to conclude that the target is vulnerable because we are able to get this into our response successfully. Now, how to identify multiple targets for that you can simply use search engines like Shodan census also you can use google docs so i'm just going to show you how you can use census so you can just search for apache you know me and you will be able to see multiple targets as can be seen over here now you can just come to any of the targets so let's say i go to the first target which is this one let's go to go and let's wait for this to open Yeah, so, so you can see successfully it has opened over here and this is the default configuration page of Apache, you know me. And now you can try basically here. You can search this as a Google Doc as well to identify multiple targets. You have to modify your doc to get the right programs. All right, now I have also written a script for you to identify multiple domains if you have them if you have subdomain enumerated a lot of domains for any bug bounty program then you can directly put the list of subdomains to this bash script and it will automatically identify for you if the target is vulnerable or not for that you just need to put your targets into a file as you can see over here and then i'm going to supply this file to my bash script and let me just hit enter and you can see it has started identifying if the target is vulnerable or not and you can see this ip is vulnerable which we have already seen into our burp suit apart from that all the programs as you can see or the domains or subdomains are not vulnerable so this can be helpful to everyone to identify or mass scale your bug hunting because this is a new cve and you may end up identifying a vulnerable target subdomain program of any bug bounty program that can be even private because there are many RVDP programs that are being run and you may get lucky to find out one of the subdomains which is not yet patched and which is running onto the outdated version of Apache you know me. Now remember as this is a critical vulnerability it is a remote code execution. It is a pre-auth remote code execution so the chances are high that you may end up get a very good bounty. In case you identify a vulnerable target, then please do comment below. I would be very happy that you get benefited out of this video. So this is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I'm going to add all the resources into the description section so you guys can use it without any issues. Stay safe. Thank you.